scientists have identified a specific potential male birth control pill. Back in June, I told you that there were a number of male birth control options in development. There were injections and there were pills. And overwhelmingly, the response from our audience was very, very positive, sort of conceptually. But I did get emails from men saying, I'm concerned about the side effects. I'm concerned about the potential health damage. We now have news about two specific developments with regard to male birth control. Both are pill form and both are cor currently given to organ transplant recipients to suppress their immune systems. The two drugs are cyclosporin A, uh, that's also known as CSA and FK 506. And when people get organ transplants, they are given these drugs to reduce the chance that their bodies will reject the new organs. And the way they work is they prevent the immune system from making a particular protein, which normally mobilizes T cells to attack. And they do this by inhibiting a particular enzyme called calcineurin. And by studying mice, researchers in Japan figured out that a version of calcineurin is found only in sperm. It contains two particular types of protein. Uh, one is called triple P three CC. The other is called triple P three R two. They figured out what these proteins do. They created male mice that were unable to make those proteins and they were not able to uh, impregnate female mice. So the idea is these mice without the protein have sex with the female mice the female mice don't become pregnant. The absence of that protein, they believe, is making the males infertile. As soon as they uh, stopped taking the drugs preventing that enzyme, the fertility came back within one week. There is not yet clarity about the, whether the immune system would be impacted by this. As I mentioned, normally these drugs are given to suppress the immune system in organ transplant recipients. So there are real questions about whether there is a certain dosage that would prevent men from getting women pregnant while at the same time not impact the immune system in a negative way. There are people who emailed me after seeing this and say, they said, David, I would not go anywhere near this. I think that the vasal gel is the better option. That's the one I told you about that's injected into the vas deferens. It's a polymer. It can be reversed. Pills are way more lucrative, though. If you have to take a pill every month or every week to uh, as a form of male birth control, that is going to make pharmaceutical companies way more money than getting an injection that lasts potentially years until you want to have it reversed. Generally, conceptually, huge, huge support among men for male birth control. We will keep an eye on it. Uh, some medical journals saying that realistically, broad availability of male birth control is still many years away. Others saying we could be looking at two to three years before pretty, pretty advanced clinical trials begin. Send me your thoughts on this.